What you are about to see is the final chapter in the story of Dino the Dino Slayer. It has taken 48 episodes for us to get to this very moment. Only the Tech Cave and the Overseer stand in our way. Six months of my life has been dedicated to Ark and telling the story of Dino, and I could have never, ever expected the ending. It is truly something special. So all that I ask is that you consider subscribing to the channel, and if you did like the video, please, please hit that like button. But for now, sit back, relax, and let me tell you the story of the Tech Cave. Can, can you hear that? That white noise. The whir. The little crackle. That is the sound of progression being made. We have the fabricator going. We have the industrial forge going. We have so much to do today. I literally said to my missus as I came through here to record, this is going to be one of those gaming sessions that I'm going to remember because today, I hope, if everything goes right, we're taking on the tech cave. I don't know what to expect. However, the comments, my Discord, social media in general has let me know that I am in for a very, very, very difficult time. And it's been made even more difficult because in the last episode, link is in the description we successfully managed to beat the dragon boss however at great personal cost we lost all but one of the dinos that came in with us three of them didn't get teleported in but we we, we were literally down to the last dino when we did it it was glorious it was fantastic we got the trophy head however we now have to build our army back up for the tech cave and the overseer boss now, lots of people have been telling me, but you've been sleeping on these beautiful, majestic beasts, the Therries. So I think this time what I'm going to do is instead of making an army of Rexes, I'm going to do a mix where we're going to do some Therries and we're also going to have a couple of Rexes that are super high level. Okay, so we have a lot to do. Now, we have a ton of Therry eggs and a ton of Rex eggs that have just been going over in our beautiful Shag Shack. So at some point, I'm going to bring them out when I'm ready to get them matured. And then we're just going to go on a big level up spree. But I also have some stuff that I'm doing in the, the, the base that I'm going to be building. Um, but essentially, right, we need to do lots of things. But kind of first on that list, we need to build some tech stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And for that, we need black pearls. And I know I'm going to have to go in the ocean in a minute, but I'm going to ignore that until now. We are going to have to be prepared to take a lot more resources in with us. I'm talking more bullets, more potions. So I'm doing some stuff for that. We also need to take on the Meg Megapithecus again because I was an idiot and I didn't realize that you can pick the trophy up from the supply drop, which is in the place that we spawned. So we need to do that again. But before I do that, I need to raise up and build my army so that I can successfully take on that again. And I also, do I have everything I need for the Megapithecus? Because boss, yeah, do the, the artifact. So much is going on. Bear with me. We're going to be here for a while. Oh boy. We didn't even know the half of just how busy that we were going to be. However, I decided to do something rather smart. Something that was to save us a lot of time, even though it costs an absolute fortune to craft. Okay, here we go. So one of the things that I wanted to build was I'm struggling. I did attempt it. I did attempt it right with the cooking pot here. I wanted to be able to build a ton of health brew potions. People were saying literally just take as hundreds. Um, just go overkill. And that's what I'm going to do with everything that I'm doing today is about overkill. Giving myself the best possible opportunity to succeed in the cave, right? So... The annoying thing is, though, is I can't passively feckin' make these because I can't get this thing irrigated. So I built a water tank next to it and nothing happened. And then out front here, I'll show you, I built a water tap because I thought, well, maybe I just need the water tap to get... Uh, sorry, not the water tap, the water pipe. Uh, where, where did I put it? I put it somewhere. The water pipe 
to put into a water tank or something and that'll work and then that didn't work so then i put a tap on and then I, i'll turn the tap on look and i'll do this open tap and then when i go to actually cook the damn thing um i set myself in fire and then i put it out by accident and then i accidentally nearly saved the game so uh, here we go look it still says water there so i was like nah sod this so i googled it <gasps> this is meant to be a blind playthrough butch and I'm built, building, about to build this. Are you ready? Did someone say industrial cooker? Three, two, one. Thank you. Oh, wait, shit. We got, we got a cancel queue. How big is this thing going to be? I think this can get irrigated. I think this is going to be huge. But I hope. Otherwise, I've just wasted nearly 2,000 metal. Metal's not too bad to get. Obsidian's more annoying, but metal's not too bad. Where, where did it go? Metal, metal, metal. Oh, there we go. Right, how big is this? Uh, I really, yeah, I really hope that this can... Oh, I thought it'd be well bigger. Oh, it has to go next to the fridge, doesn't it? Can it go here? Can it, do, do I just randomly put it here? Like that? Oh, shit. Oh, God, if you were a T-Rex, I would have shit my pants. Get back inside here, you pig. This industrial cooker meant that we could passively make anything in large quantities as it was irrigated. And by anything, I mean health potions. We gathered as much of the resources we could muster, threw them all in the cooker and left them to cook as we set our eyes on something that would be much harder to get. Tech equipment. We were only one resource short from being able to craft a tech replicator. And that was black pearls. Now, I have a history with black pearls, and by history, I mean they are shit to get. However, we had yet to try the one place where people suggested to get them, the ocean. My sources tell me that the black pearls can be found on some sea creatures. I was very disappointed with this, as I was hoping that the pearls would be found in decent abundance at a particular location. But I was very, very wrong. I'm not happy about it. So, I thought that maybe Black Pearls would it'd be like a, a nice location where I could harvest a bunch of resources and stuff, but no. No, 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 no. You can only get Black Pearls by killing things in the ocean. Oh, I'm going back. Now, I've not decided yet, but maybe, maybe... I'll do the cave again because we get the supply drops in there and we might get something good and you know what I mean. Like, I really want like an Ascendant Yuti saddle. Um, I'm also toying with the idea, I don't know yet, of getting a Stegosaur. Um, a lot of people have been saying the Stegosaur is brilliant for like boss fights in caves because um, the... The, the the like armor on it is so high like it's a really good like tank but you can also shoot on the back of a whatchamacallit on a stego which i think could be really useful when it comes to the caves and stuff because um obviously with my 700 percent shotgun that's like my best asset so it'll be cool to be able to use that maybe i don't know <sighs> i don't know i don't know i'm i'm so nervous for this because if I lose everything in the tech cave. I won't even know, like, where to begin about building back up. You know what I mean? But anyway. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's, um... Let's, uh, focus on the, um... On the, uh, on the Black Pearls for now. This, this could be the toughest part. This could be the toughest part. I, I don't... Lots of people have been... Uh, no. Just... <laughs> oh boy this was far from the toughest part and this was still shit and as you can see i was in a really positive frame of mind for this but that being said we did do something a little bit different something which honestly completely changed it for us now i'm not gonna lie to you troops i'm gonna give it a go now however I might be turning the volumetric fog off so I can see things better because um, I'm struggling big time with the ocean.
Like, listen, we've all had the fun, all right? We've uh, we've farmed the content of my thalassophobia. I've had some TikToks that have popped off because of it. I've had enough there that maybe we could just turn the fog off now and so I can see things. Because I think that'll help better. We decided to do it. People have been telling me that it made the oceans much, much easier. And given the what... <clears throat> we decided to do it. People have been telling me that it made the oceans much, much easier. And given what we were planning on doing today, I was all about easier. I don't know if I did it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, you can see for miles. I thought these were meant to make you see better underwater. I think that's a lie. So, yeah, we've got some... Like, okay, Jesus Christ. This is so much better. I don't want to know what happens if you go too far. Right, so sea scorpions, squids, big ass creatures. Look, it's coming for me. Don't even try it, bitch. Oh shit, I'm in K cam. Oh my god, what is that? What? Oh, is that a Meg? Or is that what I need? Oh, I might be needing hunt, hunting them. Yeah, the the squids, all sorts. They all. Um, right, hold up. Let me get rid of. Oh, it's st it's still not nice, but being able to see makes a massive, massive difference. Now, what the hell is that? Oh, it's one of them. Do we get pearls from you? I don't know. Let's go. This is so much easier. Oh, my God. I'm basically flying in the sky with this. I <laughs> okay, it's still a little bit wappy, but not... Not massively, right? Come here. The maneuverability of the Barry in the water isn't fantastic, but it's my strongest dino with the ascendant stuff and all of that. So, right, will you aggro on me, please? That'll be a lot quicker. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Fight me! The stun, the stun is phenomenal. The stun is phenomenal. However, no black pearls. Okay. Maybe I'm confident enough to take on take on the cave again. The lack of fog in the ocean had given me a new lease of life, or at least confidence, when it came to the ocean. We decided indeed to head back to the cave for two reasons. Number one, we knew that the black pills could be collected from sea scorpions, and we remembered seeing the sea scorpions in one of the sea caves. Reason number two was the supply drops. Sea cave loot was apparently the best loot, so why not kill two birds with one stone? Last time... Ah, oh, Jesus. Last time I did the, uh... When I was looking for black pearls, I did it by the trilobites, and it genuinely took me hours. I can't remember what we needed it for, but I know we needed 60. I don't want this to be the stumbling block, though. I want to focus my attention on leveling the dinos up and everything and then actually having a go at the caves but the tech equipment looks really good so i feel like that's kind of a would be a good good thing to do and to do that then to get that we need the black pearls i'm looking for the creatures on the floor and there's nothing Unfortunately, we couldn't find any sea scorpions lurking at the bottom of the cave. In fact, this cave seemed largely remote of anything, aside from the occasional manta ray. There were a handful of these tentacle snails, which when we killed released a couple of black pearls. But all in all, we left the cave with eight black pearls. Not great. We needed over 200. We changed our approach and focused our search outside the cave, and we did get some luck. Trilopites seem to be relatively common on the ocean floor. Each one would give us about three to five black pearls, so we managed to collect a chunk of pearls just from scouring the sandy bottoms of the ocean. However, this took an age, and I mean an age. Hours went by, and although we were slowly creeping towards what we needed in terms of black pearls, it was taking much longer than I would have liked. This led to another change of approach. Barney was incredibly strong, but relatively slow and clunky in the water. Instead, we decided to swap him out for a Sarko, which was much, much faster and easier to maneuver. This meant that we could cover more ground, and this led to encounters with larger creatures. I thought that was one of the... Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, motherfucker! Oh, no! What are you? What are you? 
I don't know what you are. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that, Beyblade? Wait. What? Where did it go? Wait. Did it teleport? Nah. What's that? Is that a dunk? I want to kill it. I have black pearls. I don't know what that thing was. I'm shooketh. Is this thing powerful? Oh, is that a whale? Are you a whale? What are you? It le leads, lead. You're massive. Oh, no pearls. Uh, oh god. Wait, I need to I've not done the you behavior. Is that that thing again? Or is that please us all? What the fuck are you? Oh. Oh, one of them. One of their All right, you're dangerous. Right, we need you gone. Look at this maneuverability though. I think you give black pearls. I think you give a lot of black pearls. I think Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Stamina's still good. Stamina's still good. Yes, no problem this. No problem. God, if I've seen you, you I've seen you in the smoky fogness the first time I came into the ocean, I genuinely think I would have ended the playthrough. Ah, that yellow means they're nearly dead. Come on. Give me the black pearls. Give me the black pearls. What? You're meant to have loads. This was not fun. In fact, it was probably the least amount of fun that I had had in the game so far. We searched for hours, mindlessly picking up small amounts of black pearls, not getting any sizable chunks, but still slowly creeping towards what we needed. We swam, and we swam, and we swam. And then we spotted something. Something that we knew for a fact gave black pearls. But was it worth the risk? It's not telling me. Let me get a little bit closer. 90. I'm not sure I want to fuck about with a level 90. I could do it though, couldn't I? I've got a Barry on me. Should I do it? What's, what what realistically is the worst that could happen here? Oh, I'll lose the black pills that I've got already. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Where did it go? It's there. It's there. Sod it. Do I have any? I do. I have a stone arrow, I think. I have six. Uh, I'm stuck. Because if I can aggro it and get it on the bar, the barry. Sod it. YOLO. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Whoa! Shit, go on, go on, Barry, get it, 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 Barry, 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 Barry. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Barry, attack it. Sod it, sod it. Don't go near its fecking tentacles. Get it, get it. Get it, 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 get it. Ooh. Oh, it's tanking. Oh, this thing's heavy. This thing. Oh, shit. Oh, sh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit. Oh, no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. 
fuck. Fuck. Shit! Oh, it, was, it wasn't meant to go like this. It wasn't meant to go like this. It wasn't meant to go like this. Is it even hurting? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Whoa! Oh! What the fuck? Oh, I don't like this. Ah, shit. I don't like this. Huh? Huh? Where'd it go? Oh, it's running. It's hurt. It's hurt. It's hurt. Come here. It's hurt. It's really hurt. It's really hurt. Yes! Yes! It's nearly dead. It's nearly dead. Nah, you ain't running away. You ain't running away. Yes! 22! I'm too heavy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Where'd the other Barry go? Did it die? Eventually, by the mercy of whatever gods there may be, we collected enough black pearls. I could harvest thousands of metal ingots. As much obsidian as I wanted. Heck, I could craft an ascendant saddle in a matter of minutes if I wanted to. But black pearls, I'll have nightmares about them. If black pearls were a drink, they would be Dr. Pepper. The worst of the worst, and the world would be a better place without it. On a scale of 1 to 10, that wasn't fun. <sighs> um, how long it takes to get black pearls completely puts me off wanting to make tech stuff. Tech stuff's cool, but it's enough. It, it, it's, it's too much. Let's make it. We've got enough for the tech replicator, which is the main thing. Um... But it, uh, right, supply crate and a fabricator. However, when I go into the fabricator, it turns out, as far as I could see, you couldn't actually craft the tech replicator at the fabricator. Nice. It did mention supply drops, though, so we hatched a plan which took us an absolute age. You might be thinking to yourself, but Butch, the, the Black Pearls took an absolute age, and now this? Yes. Yes, dear viewer. There is a theme to this episode. Time. Everything took a lot of it. So to craft a tech replicator, you need 5,000 metal ingots. That is about the weight of your mum. No one dino could feasibly carry it. So you know that supply drop beacon that spawns just outside the base? We gathered a bunch of dinos, separating the resources amongst them in the hope that when the supply drop, you know, dropped, we could quickly craft one. But here's the thing, I had no idea how long it would actually take for a supply drop to drop. I was completely fed up with the Black Pearl fiasco and I didn't want to just hang about. Whilst checking again online if the tech replicator definitely couldn't be crafted at the fabricator, I read that you could craft it at the obelisk. Now the obelisks, they don't go anywhere, they are always there. So it might be worth our time to use the obelisk instead of wait for the supply drop. So that's exactly what we did. We flew over to the red obelisk with a large storage container and did some trips back and forth with the mountain of resources needed. This took far too long, but eventually we had all of the resources we needed to craft the tech replicator. Okay, I think that is everything. Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. Three, two, one. I had extra metal. Done. 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 Oh my God. That was shit. I don't even have enough black pearls to craft anything with the tech replicator so now i'm gonna have to go back in the ocean to get more black pearls oh my god guys this is 
This is a graft. This is a grind. It's necessary though. I'm trying. I'm trying not to lose sight about why I'm doing this, you know. But if I do all of this, I mean, to be fair, what we've done just now is for the tech replicator, okay? Which is always going to be there. We ain't going to lose that. Fantastic. What I will be scared of is is spending all of this time to get the tech, um, uh, like gauntlets and, and legs, um, and we lose them. I felt that the dragon boss was a big step up in difficulty to the others. Um, and I don't know what the step up in difficulty is going to be like for the the final one, the overseer. So I'm just, I'm over preparing. I'm over preparing. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, right. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor together. We have, oh, oh for a second. The tech replicator. What? Oh, oh. Hey! Fucking hell! Oh, that's massive. Right, holy. Okay. <laughs> We're going to need some foundations. Oh, stress. Stress, 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 stress. Right. What are we saying? Crafting for the billionth time. Please tell me four is enough. Right. We're going to put the foundations down like that. One, two, three, four. Please. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. You have taken so much from me. No fuel. What? Requires element to be activated. What? Okay, um... Oh, this game isn't meant to be played solo, I feel. Y'all are having a go at me for my boosted rates as well. How the fuck does anybody play solo official? Does anybody play solo official? Um, right, here's the play then. Right now, we didn't have enough element to even run the damn thing, never mind craft any of the tech stuff. We would solve that problem later, but for now, we turned our attention to building our army of dinos back up. We had a bunch of Therry eggs that had been collected by a hatchery, so we got them hatching and maturing. We had enough Rexes left over from the recent boss fight, the ones that never made it through the teleporter, and the one single Rex which was left standing after the fight. These should be enough so we didn't have to worry about raising any other Rexes. So we started to bring all of our Therries together so we could keep tabs on how many that we had. You guys were saying as well for the tech cave to do a train? Of like dinos. So you have like... Uh, so if I had more Therries, I'd have... They would follow them so I'd be like... This dino would follow me, and then that dino would follow this dino, then that that dino dino would follow that dino, and that 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 dino would follow that that dino dino. If you if you catch my drift, uh, right. Anyway, what we're gonna do is actually let yeah, stay stay there, because I I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about those theories. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have a look at what we're actually dealing with here theory wise um please don't tell me you're starving 15 that's how many theories we ended up hatching maturing leveling up and bonding with 15 theories the comments in the previous videos had let me know that rather than leveling up the dinos one by one you could take them out in a group have them on aggressive and let them go wild well i tried that and it didn't go too well the theories got absolutely battered down by the river and came too close to dying multiple times for my liking instead i did take them out one by one and began leveling them up Given the relative speed of the Therry and their prowess at killing things, it wasn't quite as painful as the last time that we did it with the Rexes, but it still took a very long time. Troops, I have now adopted this standing position. Absolutely losing my mind, but I'm telling you right now, this is going to go down in one of the in in history for one of the 
the most intense, sweatiest gaming sessions of my life. Let me let you into a little secret here. If you're young and watching this, okay, then you won't understand, but I am at the ripe old age of 30 now, and there comes a point in life where you literally, you just cannot sit down and play video games for any length of period of time. I can maybe get away with doing four to six hours at a time, usually. And that is bloody good. I know you're sitting there, well, you wait till you have kids, but you wait till you have kids. But there's so many times that I just want to be able to sit down and just like bash out games and stuff. And that is what I'm doing today. I have cleared, and I'm not even kidding, a 16 hour window for me to be able to come in and here and say this is what I'm going to do today and that's what I'm doing now so far it's not going well nope uh, things are taking a very very long time and I don't feel like I'm actually making a huge amount of progression but to be able to to play for as long as I am today I, I, I literally built up to this for about a week or two I was like right I want to at this, this date I want to be able to game for ages and, and that's what I'm doing and I'm living my absolute dream here at the moment of just gaming I've got some snacks I've got some carbonated beverages I'm in the zone we're doing big things today big big things today everything is as it should be I can tell you that this good mood did not last very long not very long at all. <sighs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm so fine. I don't dare do them in the groups because every time I do them in the groups, they all just go mental. They all run off everywhere. And because their health is relatively low, I just feel like they're just going to get ganged up on. Right. Oh, shit. I've not... Oh, disaster. I've not put the feckin' Disable Harvest resource in on. I've found my best look. I, I, th I think the Kano Island would be pretty good to, to level things up on, but I just don't dare. But I found the, the Rivers... The rivers and the lakes to be oh shit what was that what was that i'm um, gonna i think i'm definitely i think i'm definitely gonna get one of them get an imprinted wee baby and just absolutely be an absolute like tank i'd be a bit that'll be tough to level up though because it doesn't kind of exactly walk around quickly with it or maybe take that to cry to um thingy islands and just batter everything after a couple of hours, we managed to get about half of the Therries leveled up to a pretty decent level. Each one had over 1,000 melee and the health north of about 30k. But the damage in health wasn't the only reason that I had chosen to take these Therries into the tech cave. Right. That is that batch done. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. You, you keep thinking, oh, but you ain't thought of everything. I have thought of everything. Because you've thought of one thing that you thought of that when I said that I was going to be using theories, you were like, that, you thought that. And you're like, what's that? I'm going to tell you what that is. That cake. Sweet vegetable cake, which you can give to herbivores and they heal themselves with it. And I want a lot of them. For that, though, you need uh, vegetables, you need honey, you need all of that stuff. So I want to go and make, basically make as many as I can. So what I was clever with, look at this. Look, I got all of this. And I'm going to go and get some more. I'm keeping this going. I just need to get some shit and cover this going. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that I have been doing that. I forgot to mention it at the beginning. Um... I'm going to put these in my fridge just now so they don't decompose super, super quickly. So we'll be able to make a bunch of that. I'm going to cross the bridge of how I'm going to get a bunch of honey. Um, but yeah, well, I don't know how much honey I'll need because you consume like one. They consume one like cake quite quickly. So I'm going to need a bunch of them. Um, but for that, in fact... Um, can look here. I keep forgetting about this thing. Uh, sweet vegetable cake. Uh, giant bee honey. That's the that's the hardest one. So I don't know how to get a, a load of honey. I really don't. But I'm I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. For now, I need to keep leveling up. 
This is the epitome of what I think ARK is about. Preparation. The more you prepared in ARK, the better your chances were, as with most things in life. In fact, I don't think it's ever possible to prepare enough, at least in my short experience. We slowly but surely leveled the remaining Therries up to a similar level as the first group. Once we had our army somewhat replenished, we needed to turn our attention to the Megapithecus. You will remember that we had already beaten this massive monkey, but failed to realize the location of the supply drop which contained its trophy. So we needed to battle this beast once again, and that meant we needed artifacts. We already had the Brute and the Devourer artifact from previous cave trips, so it was just the artifact of the pack. We geared up, climbed to top of our old reliable Barney, and headed into the cave. Alright. <sighs> Hello again. Honestly, troops, I am losing my mind a little bit here. Woo! Let's go. Right. And then now it's a normal cave. So that, that's the only bit that we, that's a bit, like, annoying. But I'm actually going to go with a little bit of speed here. Just because the heat. Shit, 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 shit. Right, give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Come on. Ascendant Gallimus saddle. Oh, forgot about that. Is it this way? Honestly, can't remember. No, you know what I'm actually going to do? You, do you know what I'm actually going to do? Fuck this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get some lesser potions. Um, and I'm stressed. And some uh, some Kalian soup. I'm going to be I'm going to be sensible. I genuinely have no, no memory of this place. Is that a supply drop down there? Or is that a glowing crystal? Was it through the water? Because look, we jumped out. I remember, I remember jumping out of that thing. This is the main fucking room. Because I remember coming up and finishing here. But why was that? Was that the, the chambered room, the, the dead end? Was that, was that meant to be like a supply drop, but it just hadn't spawned? Oh, do I remember this? Honestly, I don't remember this. Oh, no, I think I do remember this. All right, and then, yeah, down here, because this was difficult. I remember it's difficult to go down. We don't have a scuba mask. We don't have a scuba mask. We don't have a scuba mask. What? <laughs> Having so much fun. <sighs> Did I take the wrong turning? Where the hell am I? Seriously, where where the hell am I? Is it this way? Oh, oh God, this one's tight. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. That. Oh my lord. Get it. Save the game and go. It turned out that the most dangerous thing in this cave was my sense of direction, but we had prevailed and secured the artifact. This meant we can now get straight on with beating the Megapithecus again. We took all of our theories, a sprinkling of Rexes, our trusty healing pig Pumba, and of course, maybe the most critical of all, Frank, our UT. It is much easier getting everybody in with the, um, with the theories, as opposed to all being T-Rexes, and I guess that's a plus. Okie dokie, right. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm kind of nervous. Um, don't get cocky. Do not get cocky. Going in for Gamma again. Brute, Devourer, and Pack. Brute, Devourer, Pack, sod it. We got, we got a little bit of time when we get in. We know that much as well. If the monkey's in the same place. Right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Come on. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We're all in, well in, we're all well in. Come on. We're going to get it exactly the same thing that we did last time, except this time we're going to go back, get the supply drop, which has the trophy in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, it's in the same place. It's in the same place. Okay, I'm actually going to put all of you on attack my target. I do need the curry, so I'm going to have some of the curry just now. And then all of you are following me. Come on, let's just do this. You all want to attack my target. So I'm going to get this out. Oh, shit, raw. Shit. I need to raw them. I need to raw them. I need to raw them. One more. One more for good... Oh! 
Oh no, we don't we don't want to fight down here. We don't want to fight down here. No, 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 no. Shit. Shit. Can we get them up this way? Oh no, disaster. Disaster, 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 disaster. Oh, I don't think I changed my shotguns around. Just keep roaring. Just keep roaring. Just keep roaring. Fantastic. No, keep keep on the boss. 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 Ah, oh, that's what I'm scared of. No, Sid, you stay up. No, 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 no. Get him down. Get him down. Get him down. Get him down, boys. Yes. Right. Quickly, quickly. There it is. 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 There. Oh, the pig. I forgot about the pig. There it is. 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 There. Yes! 40 element, not the 20. The 40. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's good. That's huge. That's huge. Right, let me quickly, just in case there's any anything that I missed up here. I don't think so. I think it all drops there. Everybody stop. Everybody chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Oh, yeah, you're... I you, know, oh, you can follow. Oh, they're all following. All right, we've got a train. Hey, look at us. Train. Choo-choo. Uh, finally, the monkey's head was mine. This was great on two counts. Number one, we needed it for the tech cave. But number two, we now had enough element to craft one of the tech armor pieces available to us, the leggings. Sure, we needed to go back and get some black pills, which was about as fun as you would have imagined it to be. But eventually, we had all of the resources we needed to begin crafting. Anyway, anyway, right. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on. Right, so we know that there's 40... Oh. 40. Turn on. How much does it use? Three, two, one. Okay, it uses one to go up, and then it's like... Oh! Look at the colours! Oh, right. Okay, we don't want to waste sediment. All right, and we're going to make the leggings... Highly advanced leggings that allow for powerful forward movement. Okay, three, two, one. Crafting. Rapid. Take them out. Take them out. Okay, there's nothing else that I can make. So, I mean, I could make them if I... But I don't want to. Okay, turn off. Whoa. Okay. Oh, shit. Zero percent? What? What do you mean, 0%? What do they do? They glow? Wait, do I need element to... What does it mean by 0%? Right click for more options. Oh! Oh! They said powerful forward movement. What's it doing? So, <laughs> I can walk on water. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not sure about the jump, though. These pants were like any tools that you can give to a man. Incredibly useful if he knows what he's doing and a potential murder weapon if he does not. I'm not sure how I was going to control the jump and fall damage on these things, but the speed which these things allowed me to run was insane. And even better, they looked damn cool. But our story must now take a different direction. From sweet alien leggings to sweet vegetable cakes. These cakes were to heal our theories should their health get too low, so they were incredibly valuable. They were also a bitch to make. You see, for these, we needed honey, and a fair bit of it too. 
so I came up with a plan. The easiest way to get honey was to tame a giant bee and that way you could have your own honey farm in the comfort of your own backyard. So I thought that I would go out, tame a bear, craft myself some bug repellent, throw on a ghillie suit, nip out into the backyard, tame a bee and bathe in my glorious amounts of honey. Oh, how I was wrong. We got the bear, that bit was right, but the bee? The bee was the most elusive creature I had ever come across. We spent hours looking for one. Allegedly, you're meant to find these bees in some of the beehives that could be found in the redwood forest. I knew this because we had been attacked by them previously. Well, I attacked and I attacked and not a single bee was found. We lapped the forest multiple times, building up to the beehive, harvesting it with the bear, destroying it, trying everything we could but no bees attacked us so no bees appeared for taming. This became so ridiculous, so frustrating that I tried another approach which was to scour the island and search for the spawn points for the bees. We even googled the exact points. Nope, no bees, nothing, nada, zilch. Off the back of the Black Pearl fiasco, the grinding of the levels and everything else that I was doing, I was at the end of one's wits. It wasn't all bad though. You see, we were collecting a decent amount of honey for our efforts, so we were at least able to make some more vegetable sweet cakes that we kept tucked away in our fridge. We had been preparing non-stop. At this point, I was about nine hours in, back to back. But there was still more to go. One more final piece to the puzzle of the tech cave. And this proved, boys and girls, to be the smartest decision that I would probably make in my entire playthrough. You see, I had seen multiple people mention the Stegosaurus is a great defensive dino. We had attack in abundance. Between the claws of the Therry and the jaws of the Rex, I had enough attack power to take on anything. But defensively, maybe we were a bit weak. The Stegos had great health and they could protect you from being dismounted. But most importantly though, I could shoot from the top of them. All things considered, I thought it was worth my time to go out and capture a couple of high level ones so we could imprint our own. Ah, come on, nearly there. <clears throat> nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Oh, sh Dino, Dino, yes! Ah, oh, fantastic. First, there you go, ladies and gents. Put that away. Um, so 4,003. Okay, ridiculous amount of food, really, isn't it? I don't know whether that's a good thing or a... No, it's not a good thing. I feel like it, it should be better. I've accidentally used bug spray and Kalian soup as well, so... Not ideal. Right, what we'll do is I'm going to start heading back towards where we came from. Um, and then we'll hopefully find... How, I don't understand with Kalian soup how that works in a cave, but that doesn't work out where there's a breeze. You feel me? It would be much, much, much easier to do this in the, um, in the, uh, daytime, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, female, male, you're male. Okay. I'll take it. Anything from the trolleys there? I'll take the lot. Yep. Yeah. Right. Sorry, dude. For the greater good. Um, we'll wait for this one to tame. <sighs> and then, uh, we've got the long walk back. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking, right? This is me on the Stego. So we've got the nice, oh, uh, Stegosaurus here with the, the nice long head. And he's got his legs here and his big spiky tail. And then Dino is on here with his absolutely bulging muscles and his incredible shotgun, which looks like that. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. So that's going to be leading the train. Okay. Following on up from that, we're then going to have my... I'm thinking... Oh my God, look at this. Um, how does a T-Rex look? It's got like the legs and then it's got the two small hands like that. So we're going to have 
That looks kind of... It's not a frog. That's a T-Rex. And then, I swear to God, I don't think I've used paint in about 15 years. So here is the other one. Um, another Rex here. Okay, so the two Rexes are behind me. Maybe three. Maybe three. I'm not sure. Then what we have is the Feathered Rex. This is the... This is the UT. Okay, because he's a cloud. I forgot the tails on these. That's the cloud, uh, the UT, and he's going to be roaring there. Okay, so it means that these guys are always going to have the buff, which is me. Following on from behind them is when that we're going to have the claws. So this is the, they've got like the two hands and then the head and then the beak. And then that's the body. And yeah, so that's the claws, if you know what I mean. So there's them and I'm going to do them two by two. So um, just quickly, you, 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 that looks exactly like a Therizino, right? And then we're going to have that times two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 for about times seven and they're going to be following in behind but then maybe maybe like in the middle of them we have our pig like that but then he's going to sit in the middle so that that ex this is it this exactly is the orientation that we're going to be going into the cave in does that make sense so me here We've got the Rexes, yeah, two, and then the UT Frank is going to be chilling there, and then we've got the the Theri Theri Z there, and then Pig there. So that's how we're going to follow in a big train because these guys here they're going to be doing the battle in the tech cave and then these guys here are going to be doing that i like the i'm like that pirate do you know that pirate software guy um on twitch the the, the software developer and he's always talking he has a really deep voice and he's always he's always a bit like when he, when he talks like this so make some games guys you know what i'm saying um i've got a really good example here of a demonstration that i'm gonna do and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe oh shit never mind back to the game yes stegosaurus baby okay get this cryo up and get home yes that was my pig noise please subscribe subscribe for the oink but now it is time if you need a comfort break if you need some more snacks now is the time to go because playtime is over we had the two new stegs lay an egg and birthed into this world was our new baby stego we decided to name him durex given that his main job was to provide me with some protection after allowing him to mature and putting an ascendant saddle on him we set out and began to go through the grind of leveling up but bearing in mind I had no reference of what was under or over leveled for this cave. I knew absolutely nothing about the tech cave and the overseer boss other than it was going to be a challenge and test every fibre of my being. And I wasn't wrong. When we were out there on the stego leveling away, it obviously gave me a lot of time to switch off and think, and I rather wished that it didn't. Here were the stakes. If we were to fail at any point in the tech cave or the boss, we would lose everything. Every dino that went in with us, every single bit of gear. That much I knew. All the gear, all the dinos I had worked so hard for would be gone. I don't have a lot of time. I have this horrible thing called a job and it stops me playing games. Plus, editing these takes a bit of time. I had calculated that should I fail this attempt, it would take me more than a week to catch up. This was what was on the line. The nerves started to set in. The self-doubt about how much preparation I had done synthesized in my mind. Regardless of these intrusive thoughts, the stego got leveled. I put all of the points into health and had a whopping 40k health. It was absolutely revolting to do, as the stego was about the slowest moving living creature I had ever known. I actually did this over a three day period. Everything that you had seen up to the stego was in one monster Sunday session. After work for the next two days, I grafted with the stego. 
Traveling about was harder, so we came across less explorer notes and less alpha creatures. But eventually, the dinos were all set, and now began the very final preparations. I genuinely feel so nervous about this. I can't tell you. I, don't, I honestly don't think I've ever been this apprehensive about doing anything in a video game ever. I'm completely overthinking things, and... Yeah, anyway, right. What I'm doing here is this box is going to contain everything that I need that I'm going to take into the cave, right? So it's going to... Um, just so I can lay it all out and we can all see it. Now, I know from comments and from speaking to people in the Discord that I need stuff for both hot and cold, which I don't quite understand. Not going to complain, though. Um, so we're going to we're gonna get together everything that I might need for that, okay? Um, so let's just have a quick look about what we have, and then we'll figure out what we need. So those are my best gauntlets. Those are my best fur gauntlets, so we'll take them. Um, we've got another fur gauntlet that we'll take there. Those are my best fur pants, so we'll take them. We'll take the tech pants. Um, we're also going to need some engram, actually, so we'll take another couple of engram with us. Do I need to take gilly? I think I do need to take gilly. I'm just going to take... I'd rather take everything that I need. Um, I think, unfortunately, I accidentally lost the riot chest piece, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I can't find it anywhere. But we'll also take the shotgun. Um, oh, God, I, I genuinely feel so sick. We had collated all of the good shit ready for our battle, but before we scooped up the dinos and headed north towards the volcano, we figured we should actually go and pay a visit to the entrance of the cave to double check what we needed. Okay, right. Ooh. So, I just want to go to the... <laughs> Honestly. I, um, this is, um, this has been the most all-consuming thing I think I've ever done in a game, prepping for this tech cave. I, uh, I, I'm genuine, I know my videos are very dramatic, they're meant to be dramatic, um, but I am genuinely, genuinely so nervous about this. If this goes wrong, if this goes wrong, I've got goosebumps. I have actual goosebumps. If this goes wrong, it puts me back so far. You don't even know. I mean, you, you do know, actually. I just, I don't know what to expect. You guys might be watching this now and be sitting thinking, Butch, you are so underprepared, undergeared for this. I don't know what's harder either. I don't know what's harder. Is the tech cave harder or is the overseer harder? Or are they both just like shit, you know? I'm scared. I'm so, I genuinely feel sick. Uh, it's been so consuming for the past like three or four days of me prepping for this. Oh shit, I need to remove those uh, stone things. Right, but let's quickly have a, um, just a pop down here. <sighs> oh! Okay, right, there we go. So there's... yeah. No, no, Gamma. Gamma. Right, we've got everything. We've got everything we need for that. Alright, the plan is as well, is that I'm going to make a train of the dinos. So, I can't quite decide what's going to be best. Is it best with me going at the stego at the front? Shooting everything with my shotgun? Or is it better for me to throw maybe a couple of Rexes or something at the front? On, like kind of neutral either way i'll decide that right but then uh, what i'm gonna get is like in a two by two on medium follow distance i've not used that mechanic yet but get a train and we're basically going to get them all lined up across here because you guys have said when this opens i only have five minutes to get everything through so then what i want is a nice line of things so that we can just nice and easy get everybody <laughs> <laughs> Save the game. Ah, get everybody uh, get everybody through. Okay, so that, that's kind of the plan. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, literally any minute now. I keep putting it off, man. This is absolutely revolting. Uh, but what I am going to do here 
is uh, I'm going to get rid of all of this. And just like that, it was time to go. All this time, all this effort over the past 48 episodes led to this very moment. Before we left though, we had to say a special goodbye. <sighs> it's the three musketeers. What I would say are three most alive and influential dinosaurs. Barney has carried us through the caves. Derek Umbridge, we literally said we did not want to get attached to this dino, so let's name him something shit. And then, of course, our longest surviving, Hedwig. We got... Man, we got you. We got you at the beach. When we were a beach bob. But I was nothing more than a beach bob. We got you. You were the first big dino that I tamed. Ah, oh, you look like a duck. But you're my duck. But we can't listen. We can't dwell. We can't dwell. It's time. It's time. There was a time <laughs> when <laughs> trying to make those the turrets <laughs> symmetrical was the yeah uh, was the biggest problem that I had. Now we're um now we're taking on tech caves and overseers and, and bosses. We spent so much time and energy down here at Castle Didino. Very first shelter. <laughs> as shit as it was. Look at it. Dude, I remember building that for the. F I remember building that and being legitimately proud. We um, <laughs> we didn't know about the thatch and everything, and we we kept having to run to get trees that were like here. And then to get the thatch, and we we first saw a trike I think that was just over there, and and shit our pants. We picked a good spot. And then we built this ladder. Oh, God. We died so many times on this ladder. So many times. And then, of course, Castle the Dino. You know... When it's all said and done... I'll look back on this portion here. The Castle the Dino with the most kind of... Yeah, I guess nostalgia. I get an overwhelming sense of nostalgia here. We spent so long building this place. We had our own little garden. <laughs> we we used like once. I think we, we got some narco berries and put them in there once. We learned about water irrigation and how difficult it is. And our little campfire. We spent so much time in here for Smithy. This this is when we realized how big the game was. I remember, you know, just down here. I remember when we was just, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> oh fuck. No. I remember just looking down at the southern thinking, Jesus, we've only just touched this southern tip. And we had all of that to go. And then of course, who can forget our favourite view in the entire game. There we go. I am G. 
genuinely so nervous. And I came here for a moment of solace. A moment of peace and reflection before taking on the cave. Killed our first dino over there. You remember the delf that we shot and we called it a raptor? Yeah. Okay. I've put it I've put it off for long enough. I don't I don't know if we'll be here again. Let's uh, let's go beat the tech cave. Out of the night that carries me black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I thought it would be really cinematic to come here on a stego. My God, do I regret that. That took a while. I've just noticed over in the corner there. Oh. I thought that was a... Do you not think out the corner of the eye that looks like a statue of some sort? Like a man, anyway. We are here. I feel sick. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we'll go down... Oh, don't fall off. We'll go down on the stego. And then we're just going to start lining everybody up. Save the game. Like a hench version of Noah's Ark, we lined the dinos up one by one along the path. Don't let this incredibly overdramatic cinematic segment trick you otherwise. This was a pig to do and took well over an hour. We had each dino follow the one in front of them to create a single file line. We split the cakes we had and distributed them amongst the therries. We shit our pants several times over. We distributed our resources between myself and Jurex. We did something that we had never done before and turned the in-game music on. We put our two front rexes on attack my target, leaving one on passive for rotations. The therries we left on passive. We burned ourselves countless times. We made our final checks and finally, we prepared to open the gate. There we go. Follow Rex. Follow, follow, follow. Right, let's do it. Oh. Okay. Don't don't think about it. 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 Save the game. We just do it. Just do it and go. Do it and go. Do it and go. One, two, three. Yes, we're doing it. Go, go. I don't know. I, I'm just going to go as deep in the cave as I can to get everybody in. Oh, oh. 50 teams. What? 50. Hold up. Are the Rexes getting in okay? No. What's going on? What's going on? Rex. What's going on here? Right, let me get on you. I can't see shit. Just in, in. Why, why can't you get in? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Get the Rexes in, and then we're good. Get the Rexes in, and we're good. Why is this so difficult? Why is this so difficult? We've got four minutes. Let me on the Rex. Let me on the Rex. There we go. There we go. Right. Now I get on the Rex to get the Rex in. I. This game is so janky, man. Huh? Okay, the Rexes are in. Is Frank in? Right, the others should be fine. Let's just go, let's just go, let's just go. Three minutes, three minutes. No idea what to expect, but three minutes, here we go. A little bit more gusto than that. 
We're in. I'm in the cave. I'm in the cave. I'm in the cave. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a dino there. There's a dino. There's a dino. There's many dinos. Are we all in? All right. Moment of truth, boys and girls. Oh, there's so many dinos here. Fuck it. YOLO. Let's do it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Right. My Rexes should help attack now. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't go. Oh, don't go in the ramp. Don't go. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I don't know if we're all in. I don't know if we're all in. This is a mess. This is... A oh, my God. There's Microraptors. Oh, my God. There's Microraptors. Oh, shit. All right. We need to get... We need to get further in. We need to get further in. We need to get further in. Oh, this is a clusterfuck, man. Oh, my God. Right. Further in. Further in. Further in. Further in. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Right, come on. Why are you guys janking? I don't know if we're all in, but we only have a minute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Unleash him. Get that Rex down here. Get that Rex down here. I'm too hot. I'm too hot. Okay, just go. Oh, don't let there be any big drops. Don't let there be any big drops. There's only nine, there's only 18 te 18 teams in. 19. Right. 56 seconds. The line worked. Right, we've got the UT. We've got all of you. I'm dehydrated. Shit. Did I miscount? I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I don't get... I don't dare go near the doors. No. Okay. No. No. We go with 19. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have no idea. <laughs> ah. Oh, this... This music, though... Oh. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Oh, God. I don't like the look of this. Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of them. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh, my God. Am I taking any damage? Oh my days. What are you guys doing? You guys should be on passive. No, Rex. No, Rex. No, 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 no. I'm trying to turn around here. Not anybody else. No. Oh, the thick as pig shit. These lot are thick as pig shit. Okay. Let's go. Let's go further down. Further down. Bringing this stego was the best thing I ever decided. Oh, it's so loud. That UT needs to go. Guys, I'm nervous about this. I am nervous about this. Our Rex is nearly fucking dead. What's it been? A I'm stuck. I can't see. Please stop moving. Please stop. Just stop. Stop for a fucking second. Okay. We Nobody moves. Nobody moves. And we heal. I don't care how long it takes. I sit here. We feed. I do not care how... I will be here for 15 minutes if I need to be. I will be here for 20 minutes if I need to be. We wait and then we heal. We have all the meat in the fucking world to get this up. All the meat in the world. CC. This is patience. 
It's impatience that's going to make me fail this. I can stay here for as long as I need to. I can fill this bar up. Right, let me calculate. Let me calculate the time here, right? When this gets to 2,000, I'm going to count how long this takes. So I know what I'm getting myself into. When the food hits 2,000, how long does it take to get 3,000 to 37,000? Three, two, okay. Three, there we go. Okay, so that takes about 20 seconds. So what we want to do now is 20 seconds times about 12 minutes. I did the maths about 12 minutes for me to get that full. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. We have tons of meat to go about. So I can watch a few TikToks. I can chill. I can move. I can breathe. If it takes 12 minutes, it takes 12 minutes. And we do that as many times as we need to. I don't care. I will I will take all night if I need to to do this. If it means healing up the dinos, then it's it's what needs to be done. It's what needs to be done. This cave was no joke. Two forces came head to head, Jank and Dinos. The variety of the Dinos in the cave was brutal. They were rinsing my Rexes on the front lines to bits. I didn't want to get my theories involved, not because I thought the Dinos might kill them, but with all the scuttling around and Jankness, I was feared they might go tumbling into some lava. We spent a very long time healing up the Rexes as much as we could. We also swapped some of the Rexes around. We always had two at the front doing the fighting and one in tail just kind of chilling. This way, hopefully none of the Rexes would perish before we got to the boss. Whenever the hell that was, this cave seemed absolutely massive. I don't, I don't dare look behind me. I do not dare look behind me. That UT needs to go. That UT needs to go. I, I'm scared the UT is going to do the raw thing. Yes. Okay. Which way do I need to go here? Alright, I'm actually caught under the mesh. I think it's down that way. Right, okay. Am I allowed out now, please? Yes, there we go. All right, come on, come on. Shit, no, I don't, I don't want them getting ahead of me. No, 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 no. Let's chill, 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 chill. Oh shit, that's the problem. That's the problem. Go around the other way. Go around the other way. Again, I'm inside everybody. Oh, this is so... Oh, that, I, I don't know which way is like my front and not with... Can I just say, I am exhibiting elite dino management here, right? Oh, for the love of God. For the love of God. This stresses me out. Okay. I have no idea if this is the right way. Absolutely none. Can we do the trick of luring them into the... That's a viable strap. That's a viable strap. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Utterly precarious. That is what this was. The line of dinos was long, which meant navigating the twists and turns of the cave an utter nightmare. Down long straights was fine, Round these bends, not so fine. It took a lot of micromanaging by stopping the train, running back and moving dinos one by one onto the correct path. We didn't know where we were supposed to be going, but we figured down might be the best option. Uh, can we, look, can we do this? And get them to run to us? No, wrong way. Oh no. No, 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 no. 
No, no, we, we, we really didn't want it going that way. Shit. We didn't want it behind. We didn't want it behind. We didn't, we didn't want them behind. Oh shit. Oh that shit, that T-Rex is coming. Okay. Okay, did that, is that UT dead? Is no, nobody's taking damage at the back? No. Right, let's get them back out this way. What the fuck's that? Why am I... Oh! Are we scared? Are people running? What's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's, where's everybody going? Where's everybody going? No! No! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you mad? Where's everybody up there? I think this Rex is just janked on something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, save the game. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay. 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 Right. I don't... I really hope this isn't one of these caves, though, where, they, where it's really difficult to, like, find out which way you need to go and stuff. Do I spend a little bit of time healing? Let me just see. Let me just see what we're at. Let me just see what we're at. Right, you keep doing that. All right. What I'm gonna do is just maybe spend here yeah, just a little bit of time. I'm so stressed. As stressed as we were, so far we hadn't lost any dinos. But that was soon about to change. We finished feeding Pumba, drained his heel, and pushed on forward. Oh my days. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. No, 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 no. No! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Wait, 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 wait. Frank, 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 Frank. Frank. Fuck. We just, we just lost, we just lost the dino. We just lost the dino. Wait. Do we lose two dinos? I think we just lost two dinos. To the feckin' jank. Right. What's happening right now is this. High. High follow distance. Behavior. Very high follow distance. I only I only have one Rex. I have one Rex. We need to cut the chain off somewhere. Right, Hermione's one of the weaker ones, I think. No, she's not bad. You... Stop following. Cut the chain off. Cut the chain off. You are now there. Right, what's going to happen is you are following the Rex. And then Frank is, is going to follow this one. Oh! <gasps> 
There's a glowy thing through there. There's like a glowy force field thing through there. Okay, this is the strat. This is the strat. The only thing is, though, I don't want it so... to follow distance so long that it... Like, are you going to come and... No. Okay. Shit. There we go. The Rex is here. Now the Rex is here. That's fine. Okay. That, that's too long. If it's too long, then I feel like they'll get too much distance between us. And then what happens is... They fall... They'll fall off. I'm actually going to put you medium right now, mate. Okay, come on, troops. Is this it? Is that the boss fight? I don't know. Okay, there's a there's a bridge. There's a there's a block. There's a the chain's broken or something here. Okay, why is the chain broken? What have I done wrong? I'm going back on foot. I I I'm so sorry if this is the most disjointed battle in the tech caves you've ever seen but i can't I, I can't rush this wait wait what fuck this game ah, fuck this game Actually, this isn't a bad shout, by the way. Having this break in the chain is actually probably a good shout. And then I'll just go back periodically every now and then just to check that they're all okay. Okay. Okay, right. Hold up. I'm going to get... Oh, my God. When you get the thirties, this is, I, 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 this is the most stressed I've ever been. This is the first time in a while. This is, uh, this is the first time in a while where I know it sounds stupid, but you forget you're recording a video. You're so like focused, you know what I mean? And Okay, right. What we want here is to get on Frank then and then just get there. Right. Just for a little bit, just while we figure out what the hell's on the other side of this. I don't know if this is the boss fight or not. So... We just have to get ready to whistle all. Oh, am I on the Rex? I didn't mean to be on the Rex. I can't believe we've lost two T-Rex. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I don't know if this is the boss fight or not. Is this the boss? We go in, uh, whistle all aggressive, all attack my target. So hold T, whistle all attack my target. Stay on the stego. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm cold. What the hell is this place? Oh, furs. We need furs. Who has furs?
I have furs. No, I'll put them on. Shit, I brought duplicates. Is that okay? Wait, no, I'd rather keep them on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Put that on. Okay, are we all through? What the hell is this? Ah, I don't know when the boss fight is. This is awesome looking. I look like I'm in an artery or something. Oh no, this looks like bones and that, doesn't it? Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, is that... I don't know what that is. Where's my spyglass? I, feel, I genuinely feel a bit sick. Wait, would it... Would it show me if it was an enemy? Is that the boss? I don't know what the overseer looks like. Oh, we're heading towards it. We're heading towards it. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, this is... I feel... This is... Well, I don't know. what. What's this blue stuff? Oh, it's raining! I'm not going to ask any questions about that. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. This is dope. I feel like I'm playing Destiny or something now. I can't believe we've lost two Rexes. Is this safe? Why is it singing to me? Oh! <gasps> Actual goosebumps. Oh, what's that? Oh! A terminal. Why does this remind me of a... Uh a boss, what you might call it. Oh, a teleporter pad. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, are we going to have to do all of this again? I'm going to take these in one by fucking one. I tell you right now, one by one. This is the boss fight, isn't it? This takes me to the boss fight. This, ta this takes me... This takes me to the boss fight. On the other side of this teleporter was the boss. I knew it. So far, it had taken us a total of two hours to get to this point. The jank, the healing, the fighting, it had all taken its toll. We placed our dinos around the terminal one by one. Whatever was on the other side of this teleporter would be my biggest challenge yet. It had the air of grandeur about it. The other boss fights looked like side quests compared to this cave. There was something in the air here. Okay. Uh, let's get this reloaded. So we're gonna go on the stego. We go on the stego. We go on the stego, I think, to begin with. The stego's safe. The stego's safe. I've got the bullets. I've got many of them. Okay. I don't know if this is it. This is it. This is the boss fight, isn't it? This is the boss fight. I, I can't, I'm, this is, it, it's difficult for me to describe, it's when I feel like, you've done so, I can't, fuck, go, go, oh, shit, I did it, alright, we've got a minute, is everybody in, e everybody in, everybody's in, everybody's in, everybody's in, everybody's in, everybody's in, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get on the stego, and then, whistle all, everybody attack my target, Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, it's closing in on us. Where are we going? 20 seconds. 
Oh, there's so many colours. Fuck, I don't know what to do with myself. 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 Okay, get ready, 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 get ready. It's so loud. It's so loud. Get ready. Underwater? Oh! Oh! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? On the Sego! On the Sego! We good? I think we're good. What the hell? Oh, I've got the heebie jeebies. Wait! Megapithecus, dragon, broodmother. What are these doing here? These are like terminals. And that's the... Was somebody watching me the whole time? Look, that's the... Um, the where, where we fought them. These are the arenas. This is the broodmother arena too. It is. Oh my god, I got the willies, man. I'm all tingly. Yeah, and look, the Megapithecus place. Okay. Now, I don't know what happens. Like, I know that there's a boss fight, and I'm presuming it's somewhere around here. But I don't know exactly how, or when, or what, or why, or who... But what I am going to do is just get my kind of, maybe not a train, this looks a little bit wider, but maybe a, maybe a follow wall situation. Yeah, maybe like a follow wall. I feel like it's maybe safe enough to do that. Is that a risk? Okay, let me just come ahead a little bit here, right? But we still want you to be passive and Frank to be passive. But everyone else is going to go on attack my target. So if I check you now, attack my target, brilliant. Except you should should be on... I want you on passive and you to ignore group whistles. Then we do Frank and then everybody follows me. Okay. <sighs> Slowly but surely. Is that the thing that we've seen from the teleporter? the hell? Is that where I need to go? Is it safe for me to get off? I kind of don't want to rush this. Wait, is that... That's not Earth, is it? Ain't that much water at the back of Earth. Is it? Oh. Spin back round. It's difficult for me to see as a as a whole what that is. But it's a planet, is that? I don't know if it's Earth, but it might be a planet. The fuck? Dragon. Oh Explorer note. Mayan note. I suspect even Nerva knew that he would not fare well in battle. After taking a couple of blows from my sword, he dashed off into the darkness. However, I know he was deeply wounded. His blood cannot lie. I suspect this command center was created by something with technology far beyond most normal comprehension. This is a command center. In the distance, I can see several worlds. One is that, he, uh, one <clears throat> that is clearly a place I have been. 
I am now sure that there are more of these worlds. The scoundrel Nerva must have escaped before he could meet his death. Little does he know, I won't give up that easily. I will find him in whatever realm he travels to. There is a terminal that sits up on a platform near the end of the command center. Surely, through some combinations of codes, this must have not traveled to the other worlds. But it does not. It only adds another foe to be slain by the Beast Queen. Oh my god. Right. Let's keep going. That looks like a planet. It's definitely a planet. Stay close with me, troops. Stay close. Look at it. It's like a hive. It's definitely, definitely... It's like organic, but with like... Metal compounds. My heart is fucking racing right now. I'm half expecting the music just to go... Doo -doo 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 or something, and a boss fight comes. That's... That's Earth. That is Africa. That's Africa. Welcome to Africa. Mama, na, mama, na. Eh, eh. That is Earth. Look, South America. That is, that's Earth. Is this set on Earth? Oh, I'm freezing. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we got another explorer now over here, I think. Oh! The Bunda. Magnificent aside. Rockwell Mr. Here. Nerva may be bemoaning the loss of his men, but I would sacrifice them a thousand times over to witness such majesty. I have never seen a night sky so beautiful. Somehow, this place looks down upon the world from on high, as though it stands upon the peak of Olympus itself. And my word, oh, the exquisite high. metal this place is made out of. I know it's that Not too. Not to mention that bizarre creature. It reminds me of the material that lines the obelisks, yet somehow more alive. What creature? The very walls of this place seem to hum with power and possibility. I must find more information on this material. Perhaps one of these consoles will have something I could use. I'm not familiar with the technology, but I'm sure a scientist of my caliber could get something out of them with a little educated fiddling. God, I love David Tennant's voice. So we're high. Oh. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Earth. Am I on Earth? No. I can't be. Not with the caves in that. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. We've got another planet. Oh. Tunnel. Oh shit. I know there's a boss fight. It's gonna jump scare me. What was that? Oh, that's like a red earth. Is it earth? Still kind of looks a little bit like Earth. Oh! I saw something move then. Is that the boss room? Oh! oh. The supply drops! This is where the supply drops come from! This place! Explorer now. What is this? It looks like a person. Is it a, a faint outline of a person? DNA? No Explorer now, and I can't interact. What is that? We've had dinosaurs, we've had humans, and then. Oh, 
look. A smoky, whatever that is. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Nah. This is it. This is the boss fight. Wait, they... They come through here. But do they come from here? I wonder if you could intercept them. Oh, it's all reds, look. This, this is so it, this is so it. This is so it. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong feckin' die now. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Where's Durex? Oh my god. Is like ligaments and tendons in that. Where do they go? Oh my god, that's the island! That is! Oh bloody hell, don't jump off the edge. That is, look! That's the snowy, so that must be never eat that must be the northwest and then. Oh the obelisks! I don't remember seeing this. Oh my god. Level up. This is the nah, nah that that is arena -y looking. Okay, everybody's on. Attack my target, and everybody's following me. I, I just need to shoot the boss, and then they're all going to run for it. Wait. Are we all here? Pig. There doesn't seem as many as you as I really would have liked, if I'm being really honest. Is everybody full health? Are you full health? Yeah. Ah, this is it. 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 Everything that we were before is for this. Okay. Come on. I re you, we'll, we'll, we'll end up going through that door. And, and it, the boss will be there. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, this is so it's so slow. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It was a very long time ago, wasn't it? Where it all started on the beach. We had all the road ahead of us and none of it behind us. We saw the world with different eyes. We were in awe of parasaurs and grateful for thatch. We felt moments of elation by just building a simple shack. Step by step, we learned about this strange, strange world. Its treasures, its enemies, its light shafts, and its caves. For 48 episodes, we have traveled together. North, East, south west we have climbed the highest peaks and descended to the lowest depths we have been challenged in every way possible from combat to knowledge from nerve to understanding this game has bent me over backwards more times than i care to remember looking back over the many chapters of dino the dino slayer it has been one hell of a story. 
Looking back, it's easy to forget just how much you go through in ARK. Every one of us has at some point woken up on a beach at some place in the island and not had a clue what to do. We've punched trees, died from dinos and had no idea which direction to go. Eventually, you evolved into a dino taming master. Well, not everybody, but I'm sure some of you guys have. From beaches to broodmothers, from dilphosaurs to dragons, from tinto berries to tech caves. Dino the Dino Slayer has not always got it right. Not always done it in the best way, but he has always found a way. Through dumb luck or sheer tenacity, that's up to you to decide. Ark has been around for a very long time, and so, so many stories have already been told. The depth, the magnitude, the passion from everyone involved in this game is of a magnitude that I have seldom experienced before. Eight years, nine months, 21 days. That's how late I was to this game. 3,218 days have gone by before I was at this very moment. So many memories have been made playing this game. So many emotions felt. So many tribes brought together and so much laughter and tears. But alas, all stories have their final chapter, their final page. What happens next is quite frankly indescribable to me. So thank you for being a part of this journey. But now, there is one last tale that I need to tell. This is how Dino the Dino Slayer became a hero. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Nothing's in here. What? What's that? Can I interact with it? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I am so scared. My heart rate, I, I'm gonna puke. Ah, instant IBS. What do I do? What's this? Oh, that's the island, that's the island. Oh, what, what? Shit! Huh? What's that? Where is it? Where is it? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh! Somebody's shooting! Somebody's shooting! What? Oh no! It's a vagina! Oh shit! That's it! That's the boss! Everybody attack that! Everybody attack that! It's, oh, it's got fucking shield. It's got a shield. Guys, attack that. That's the target. That's the target. I can't. No, 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 no. Wait, do I need a special gun? Did I need more? What are these? What the fuck is that? Guys. Attack, attack it. Oh, shit. What's that? Why? Why is nothing attacking that? What's going on with the minions here? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, shield down, shield down, shield down! Get it! Oh my god, yes! The shotgun does mad damage! The shotgun does mad damage! The shotgun! Guys, attack that! Oh shit! These feckin' drones! Oh my god! Get it! No, 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 no! What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Come on, please! 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 Oh, it's over there! It's over there! Fuck me, what are you? Oh my god, you're like the thing of Star Wars. Attack that. Guys, I'm shaking. Oh yes, the Devies are after it. Look at them go. Look at It's got fucking lasers as well. Oh shit, I'm going to pass out. I'm actually going to pass out. I'm actually going to pass out. 
Oh, the feckin' shield. Oh, God, what's it doing? How am I doing? Oh, shit, there's more of these. Oh, fuck. I didn't see these. Don't get the UT, don't get the UT. Get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down. UT, you're going on neutral. You can fight if you need to. What the fuck is that? I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. <gasps> the dragon! It's a fucking dragon! Oh no, there's more than one boss. No, no, don't let there be more. Don't let there be more than one. Don't let there be more than one. Guys, 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 guys. <gasps> Shit! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! No, 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 come on. Oh, fuck. No, 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 come on. Come on. Please, 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 come on. Please, please, please. Is how many bosses are there? Oh shit! It's doing. It's gonna. It's gonna do some mad damage. It's gonna be doing mad damage. I have no idea what's going on. Oh! It's turned back into the vagina. All right, when the shield goes down, get ready, troops. When the shield goes down. Shit, the shield's not down yet. Oh, explosions. Oh, the music is fucking him. It's down, it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. Attack it, get 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 it. Why are you guys not attacking? Just fucking attack it, please. Fuck. I have no idea what's going on. Why are you guys looking at me? Why are you guys looking at me? Is that the sp It's the fucking spider. Excuse me while I try and turn away. Three to five business days. Guys, can we attack that, please? Attack. Attack this target, period. That's American for full stop. Yes, attack that. Oh, we've got it, yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. We've got it now. We've got it, we've got it. I learned the keybind. At the overseer boss. Right, I'll let the dinos focus on that. We'll, we'll take these. Yes, yes. We need more of that raw, UT. We need more of that raw. Are we all good? Shit, health is... It's... We're, listen, we're halfway. Guys, come on. Really? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Spin, 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 spin. Ugh. Focus on that. Please focus on that. Fuck me. There, attack it, attack it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. Ah, oh, what is that? UT, you need to fight. You have to fight. Oh shit, wait, there'll be the Mega, mega, mega Pithecus as well. It is there. Look. Oh fuck. Just keep, UT, keep roaring. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Get it, get it. Yes, right, come on, this could be it. This could be it, this could be it, this could be it. I'll deal with these, you guys deal with that. That's it, just keep attacking it, please. I've got this, I've got this. Shit. Come on. Ugh. Fuck. 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 Ah, oh, shield's back up. Not the UT. I need to jump off and, and put the UT on. 
Get it, 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 please! Yes! Oh shit! They're overseas! Yes! We did it! We fucking did it! We fucking did it! It looks so much like a vagina. What do I do? Obviously a hologram. Wait, there's more? Is it safe to get off? Beauty, beauty, come here. Oh. Guys, everybody here. Guys, everybody here. Go here. Why are you, why, why are you all not moving? Oh! Oh my god! No way! Oh! It's the island! Wait, what? This is my... Oh my days! I can't do what to do. Oh, we're playing Quidditch! Oh, holy shit! Is this what happiness felt like? Love? No. This is more like pride. Yes, that's it. I'm proud of you, Survivor. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended. I once did too, when I was her. Helena, she was an explorer too. And like you, she traveled the arcs and discovered their secrets. You're following in her footsteps. Keep going. That's... Discover what became of Helena and her friends. Oh, that's not Helena. Survive the many challenges ahead, and you'll find me here waiting for you. Together, we may yet be able to save our world. Oh. My. God. I don't know why. <laughs> she, she, she she said she was proud of me. I just started crying. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that we did it. We actually did it. Oh, I. <laughs> I don't know. This is the <laughs> yes. Come on. This is oh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the? <laughs> oh. This isn't... I can't believe we did that. That was the tech cave and the overseer. Man, we even lost the two Rexes. That, that, that was an absolute shit show against the overseer. I had no idea what was going on. The, the, the UT wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. The, the chickens weren't like attacking half the time. The turning circle was like the Titanic on the steg. Um, <laughs> that, that was a cluster. I already know there's going to be so many comments. That, but <laughs> there's no way you would have done that on beta or alpha. That was insane. <laughs> we, did we actually did it. Oh my god. <laughs>
if I can be completely open with you guys, there was times in this playthrough, um, <laughs> I think it was the first time that we went into the cave, um, at the very, very beginning, and we lost um, Tony and and we died. I, I thought then that I'm not going to be able to complete this game. <laughs> and then the lava cave with what we went through there, I was like, I'm not going to be able to complete this game. And with the, <laughs> there were so many times when, and it, because I just thought I can't, I, I just didn't think I'd be able to do it. And we actually did it. You are witnessing right now. I think this is the the most <laughs> elated I have ever felt playing a video game. Initial termination date, 31st of December 2018. How did she achieve it? Oh, dude, the music. Oh. I think the story has now been told. Truthfully, truthfully, I don't have any more to give. Ark has been, um, the first video went up on the 27th of October, 2023. It is now the 20th of March, 2024. It's been six months of my life living and breathing Ark. Uh, get home from work, play Ark edit arc, work, repeat, and it's been the most incredible gaming experience of my life. Coming into this with such a well-developed community already, with the game being as big as it is and being out for as long as it is, to, to come in and to, and to just be a little bit of a part of that, to be able to see you guys and enjoy the struggles along the way, um, just thank you so much for letting me just do my little part for the art community with this playthrough. I now am able to go and watch other island playthroughs. I'm not going to watch playthroughs of any other map or anything like that. I don't want any spoilers for that. But, you know, for, for the island, I get to go and now see other people's adventures. That's something that I've never done because this was a blind playthrough. So, listen, all I want to say is thank you so much for the support. I know it's been frustrating at times. Um, with with the with how I've performed in in the caves and everything, um, I really really hope that you guys enjoyed the series. I put my heart and my soul into this. Literally, that's why I feel I'm exhausted now, and I've got tears in my eyes because it's like, <clears throat> whoa! Because you when you work so hard for something and it kind of it finishes, it's always kind of difficult, but it's done. <laughs> the most incredible experience being able to to make these videos and tell the story to you guys so all that i ask is if you aren't subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button i would love to be able to tell more stories like this it would make it a lot easier if i didn't have a job to go to um if you did like the video at any point please hit that like button um drop a comment below but the most important thing of all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Take it easy. Click and scroll, I can't